India is the best investment destination across the world, according to EY's annual attractiveness survey. The survey was conducted among 505 chief executive officers across the world, and India has emerged on top after garnering investments worth nearly $31 billion in the first half of 2015 alone. Now, 32% voted for India as the most attractive market over China, Brazil, and other South Asian countries. 75, 76% of the respondents felt that India's macroeconomic stability makes it more attractive against 70% last year. 68% believe that India's FDI policy is very attractive and this is also a sizable jump if you compare it to the year before that and what comes as a major confident booster for the government is that 67% believe that the ease of doing business in India makes it very attractive. Shireen Bhan spoke to EY's Rajiv Memani and DRPP Secretary Amitabh Khant on the findings of the survey. India is heading for a record FDI inflow this year and this is largely a consequence of uh, macroeconomic uh, stability. There's fiscal consolidation in the Indian economy, there's uh, political stability, uh, inflation is at a uh, all-time low. Uh, you know, we've had a reduction of 125 basis point during the last uh, 12 months uh, on the interest rates and I think there's a huge push for all all the stalled projects so all the right things I think uh, the direction is absolutely perfect uh, the survey that you conducted was done in the early part of 2015 since then we've seen a fairly stormy Parliament session since then we've seen setbacks on things like GST etc which by the way in your survey is highlighted as one of the key reforms that foreign investors are looking forward to do you believe that the mood perhaps may be dampened a tad at this point in time no Shireen I, I continue to believe that uh, there is a general level of optimism that still prevails and in fact I would say that it's, it has been on the increase uh, on the regulatory reform side also on the tax side while you know uh, there are still a lot of lingering issues but at least the effort of the government you know once this mad thing was sorted out the Vodafone issues so I would think that overall the mood is still buoyant I think the key thing from a government standpoint I would say which will really change the tide even further would be if some of the if the demand in India starts 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 growing further and and you know if some of the large contracts are issued some large projects get on stream uh, whether it's in defense or it's in railways or it's in infrastructure all right let's take a short break on the